All right, we're in with this impromptu podcast with no notes at all except the ones in my head. But I've carved so many holes in my head that they probably just fell out. So I'm fucked now, aren't I? But I'm just doing this one on uh, after my, really my sort of my first time. I've been waiting for this. My first time doing two comedy shows in one night. Hooray! But this one was more like one and a half or one and a quarter. Because doing a regular show and then doing the gong show and then getting gonged off like fucking real quick. Real shit. Ugh, fucking hell. God damn it, I thought that joke worked last time. Yeah, so I feel like I've some I bombed like one and a half times tonight. But hey, I guess I got a... A new thing. I got a like a like in a video game. You get an achievement. It's that sort of thing. Where where are my notes anyway? I really do need to. No, those are things I need to do. Where the hell are they? All right. I want to talk about broccoli, real quick. <laughs> I hate broccoli, but I've realized recently that I can sneak it in. Cause everyone says like, oh broccoli, it's so good. I'm like shit. I gotta put it in my body somehow. I really should just buy some. And just shove it down my throat, like blend it up, put a pipe down my esophagus and just pour it in. There you go. Then I'd be eating it. It's all good. As long as I don't burp and have that uh, stench come back up in my mouth. It should be fine. But I have, um, like, I could shred it up and put it in just about anything, like some stir fry. And I'm like, oh yeah, I don't taste it at all. But it's in there and I'm eating it. So that's cool. So I was doing that, but I don't know. I've been fucking up a lot of my food lately. <laughs> God damn it. Um, but the, with the broccoli, like it, I, I bought a packet of it. It wasn't that expensive, but I had it in my fridge. And then I was like, I think this broccoli is going off because my fridge, my bins, every, my kitchen is stinking. It just stinks. And I'm like, I think it's the broccoli. I don't know. Could be the other fucking food that I have to fuck off now. So... I, I, but I tried to check like the broccoli with the best before date on it and the sticker on the package I'd like ripped off only the part of the sticker where it said best before because I could see the word best before I torn off the sticker so fuck me I don't know when I don't know my mum today said a few days and I'm like okay it's been a few more than a few days uh well I, th- I threw that away so that's probably a dollar fifty worth down the drain down the fucking toilet but i'll try again maybe yeah i think things are going okay it's just the meat like i had some meat and then like a day after it's best before date i took it out but it was like really bad and i was like ah shit like when it's not pink anymore it's like it looks like it's cooked but it isn't and it smells terrible so i was like oh fuck okay next time i'm gonna be on point i'm gonna check the best before so i had a look and i was like okay i got it and then I had some, and then the next day, uh, the next day that I had some, I was like, okay, cool. I know what the date is on that best before. I know today is the day before it. So it will be fine. I take it out the pack. It's not fucking fine. It's not fine. It's, it's doing the same thing. It's getting a bit gray. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. This is bullshit. Best before. Fuck you. You got to think two days before best before, or you just got to fucking eat the whole thing. Or I guess like when, when that happened, I was like, fuck it. I'm just going to start freezing this shit, even though it's, it makes things difficult. Fuck it. Or I could cook it all and then have it later. That's another way of doing things. Uh, fuck you, broccoli. <laughs> God damn. Well, what else has been in the news? What's North Korea did something recently. I don't know. <laughs> Like <laughs> shot a missile into um into Kansas. It's like oh shit. Bit of Kansas got blew up. Oh nuclear warfare. Uh oh. Anyway, what's the next thing going on? <laughs> the TikTok video. What's next? Oh, I don't think there's really anything specific. I don't know, you're just always waiting for like your next COVID thing. You're like you're waiting, waiting, a few days goodbye. Oh, there's a new strain. Everyone lock your doors. Fuck. Or like, oh, but like, you know, usually it's just happening elsewhere. It's like, oh, Sydney, they got fucked over. Uh Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. Yeah, they should should probably stay indoors because might as well get away from the fucking humid weather. Fucking bullshit over there in Sydney. I'm never going to live there. Hopefully never go there ever again. (laughs) All right. Well, fuck. This is probably going to be short. I don't care. Anyway, 
What have I been selling? Uh, okay, I made so much money the other day. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I made a bit of a, a bit of money came my way. Actually, I should probably check my bank account. Shouldn't I? Yeah. Ooh, my bank account. Start stroking my dick. I'm actually stroking my dick right now. So, ooh, yeah. Right, how much have I got? I probably have like way less than I think. I'm actually looking right now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Go away. Oh, I don't know. I should be getting paid for that job that I worked for for three days and got fired from. <laughs> I bet they haven't given me the money yet. Uh, no, it looks like they have. I wonder if that's the right amount. Probably. Fuck, I'm poor. <laughs> I've only got $90,000. Oh. Um, oh, yeah, speaking of money. So... Even though on this day where I was selling a lot of shit, I had a bit of an issue. So I was selling my Nintendo 64 and my Nintendo 64 games. And I sold the games. And then like afterwards, I... Fuck me. I don't know how this happened. I checked each game, like how much it is. Okay, I'm going to get specific about how I fucked up. Because it's like a very specific way of how I fucked up. So here was, here's what happened. I checked the amount of each game's. And I made them $30 each. Apart from uh, Pokemon Stadium, which came with like another thing, that was $50. And then $50 for Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask. And there's this website that I was checking, like how much are they worth? Like, and they're still in their boxes and everything. So I was like, looking at that, I'm like, oh, they're not that much, you know, around 30, maybe 50 for this game. So whatever. And I sold them like for that amount. But then afterwards I checked. And then I was like, wait a minute, the Zelda game I sold was like a limited edition pack. And then I started checking that and people are selling it for like $200. And I'm like, fuck, I missed out on like $150. More like 200, yeah, 250. So $200 or more I've lost out on. Oh, maybe no one would have bought it. I don't know, but yeah, because the limited edition pack, like on this website that I was checking, I was just looking at the regular. But then I went back and I looked at the actual one that I had just sold and it said like like $80 just for the cartridge and then $200 for the, in a pack. And I was like, ah. Oh. In fact, now that I talk about it, I don't want to bring it up again. I feel like I'm scratching at old wounds. Ow. Fuck. Uh, but I made a lot of money. Like I, yeah. I'm, and I'm glad like I can just get rid of shit. Just get it out of my house and give me money at the same time. So yeah, I sold a fuckload that day, like my, my N64, all my games that I ripped myself off with, my e-reader, remember them? <laughs> it's on my fucking e-reader. It's like $30. And I was playing it like before. It's, it, it's fucking great. Like I, I made some coin off that e-reader because I didn't pay for it. I won it in a <laughs> competition. <laughs> so yay. I got some money out of that. Um, and I was playing it, actually, the day before I was selling it. And I was just like, this is such bullshit. Like, you just have to scan each card and then keep pressing a button. Oh, it's so terrible. It's just an awful way. And then you finally get to, like, an arcade game like Super Mario Bros., like the original, or Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., all this shit. Oh, Jesus, you can just play them on PC. Yeah, it's strange. Like, all these guys that come around to my house, like, it's mostly men, you know, coming over and fucking me in the ass. I fuck them in the ass. It's basically Grinder. They look like they could be on Grinder. I don't know. I just say that. <laughs> but all yeah, all men could looks like they could be on Grinder. <laughs> but it's just uh, I just kind of think about it like oh, so you're gonna take this game home? It's not like you know oh, I need this is the only way I can play this game. I'm selling a bunch of old games. You know their emulators are available. They're on line, especially like really old shit. So I'm like oh, I guess people just have a collection and. This thing and that thing. And then I sold my game. I gave my Adv Game Boy Advance. I sold that for a decent price. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, I was. I did the research. I did the research and I looked this shit up and I'm like, okay, this goes for that amount and that goes for that amount. But I fucked up on the one thing I should have really paid attention to. God damn it. Oh, I'm scratching at that root wound, making it bleed again. Oh, I never want to think about this again. Let me have a drink. I'm drinking a martini out of a highball glass, which I think is appropriate because 
Like I've been using those new straws because <laughs> they're yeah they're like they're, they're the exact right length for these highball glasses, so that's good. Um, yeah, because I need to. I feel like drinking out of a straw. Like the liquid bypasses my teeth. And my teeth are fucked. My teeth are so fucked, and I take care of them. I do everything right in this world, and I still get fucked over. It's not fair. It's not fair. I put in the effort. I do the research, and I floss, and I still get this bullshit put on me. I hate life. I'm going to do everything wrong, and I'll, I'll bet it'll work out for me. I'll get millions of dollars coming through. Oh, God damn it. All right, what else did I... <laughs> what else did I say? I had... To, yeah... You know, you know what? Th uh, thankfully, like some of these parcels that I've been sending out, I've been sending out parcels with stuff in them to sell. And um, it's weird. Like people are just like, yeah, like a Xbox 360 controllers or games or VHS tapes. And people are like, yeah, I'll buy them. And it's like, wow, you're paying a decent amount for them. And you got to pay pa uh, postage on top of that. Because I'm letting them know it costs like $10, $12 for postage. But they're, yeah, it seems like they're, fine with it. it seems to be getting to their doorstep so i think we're fine you know because i said to one guy like let me know when it r arrives and he never did so i'm just like eh, i assume it arrived like you know they've, they've paid for it so everything's been paid up Every everyone's fine with that yay money <laughs> this is the only way i fucking make money nowadays apart from doing a job for two days and getting fired but what else then have i sold what else did I sell on that day? I don't know. Uh, does anyone want any vinyls? I got some vinyls to <laughs> fucking well sell. Uh, what games was I selling? I sold San, Andre San Andreas today, so that's hardcore. Because mm, that's like one of my favorite games. It doesn't matter though. I can get these games on an emulator, I guess, or pay like $2 for them on uh, Steam. So I'm just going to do that. I'm just probably going to buy an Xbox controller for pc and do it that way maybe i should have kept one of my controllers and it doesn't matter i don't know i'm sure it could connect to pc anyway i'm gonna do that uh and that's some point this year although maybe next year and like covid's still going or whatever or i'm just like oh i'm still unemployed i'm just gonna like have that nostalgia thing where i'm just playing old games and like being nostalgic for them and I'm like, oh, I remember this. I'm just going to waste a decent amount of time. I got too much stuff on at the moment that's wasting my time, so I can't be doing it right now. Yeah. Well, there goes my fit. I need to, like, sell some more things. Like, I, I, I've got more up there to get rid of. Did I say I sold... GDA 4, like my limited edition, where it's just like a fucking box <laughs> with some stuff in it, like an artwork book. Uh, yeah, I guess people sometimes say like, oh yeah, it's cool that I got this, you know, I've been like building up a collection. I'm like, oh yeah, cool. Yeah, I kind of wonder about, well, I don't really wonder. I'm like, I'm, you No, know, they take it home, they have a fucking collection of video games. They're vintage now. I mean, Xbox now is vintage. Do you feel old? Do you feel old? Xbox games are vintage. They're like rusting and everything. They're on uh, those fucking TV shows, <laughs> porn stars. And no, what's the one called? Ah, I can't remember. I kept tuning into it back when I fucking even watched broadcast TV. Um, American Pickers, I believe it was called. Yeah, that show is cool. You know, it's kind of a fun show, I guess. I'd watch it if I fucking still watch broadcast tv which i haven't done in fucking ages i've already said this but you know why because i fucking was watching seinfeld when i'd iron and it was like at eight o'clock on this channel i'm like yeah i tuned in and a big bang theory came on it had that that thing it does at the start of the episode where it goes and as soon as i heard that i'm like oh fuck you i mean like i just want any side for put it in front of me i don't want to like i have all the episodes on dvd but i don't want to be like oh which one to put on like just throw it on i don't care oh fuck you broadcast tv and all your fucking ads and shit that's that's the only advantage that that has is just like if you don't know what to watch you can put that on and i know young people are probably like oh why is bro broadcast tv still a thing but a lot of older people still watch it so i know old people who are like in their fucking 
110s and they're still watching it. So you got to wait for them to die. So we still got like quite a few decades of broadcast TV until they're just like, nah, no more. Everyone just wants, like you, you release the show, let me watch it exactly when I want to. I can pause, I can rewind, I can fast forward and all that shit. To be honest, I wish I had grown up in this era instead, instead of the VHS era. Yeah, if you want to watch a show, you have to record it. You have to record it. Well, yeah, I mean, you can watch it, but like, if you record it, you can pause it, you can rewind. Or if it's like on late, and you're like, oh, mom and dad, let me stay up and watch Futurama. But they just, uh, they put Futurama on so fucking late. Fuck Channel 7, I think they played it, or 9. I don't know, but they probably switched now. Oh, they're, they're on 10 now. I mean, it doesn't even matter. Fuck broadcast TV. What the fuck am I even talking about? Fuck all this. I'm going to go... I'm going to go watch Sopranos now because it's on DVD. I have the DVD of it that I get from the library. So I'm watching it for free. Hooray. You know, fucking libraries, man. A little underrated. A little underrated. I mean, I know people could be like, oh, you could just torrent it, but... I don't know, torrenting is getting weird now. It's like, you need a VPN to torrent this. You can't use our torrent sites without a VPN. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Well, if I did get a VPN, then I would actually get access to more movies on the streaming sites that I'm stealing off other people or only using for a free trial. So I wouldn't even need to torrent. Oh, I wish I was like 10 years old right now living in America using like on the Criterion channel, I'm like, fuck yeah, I don't even need to pay $4.95 a month or week to uh, to watch uh, Ingmar Bergman films. So yeah, fuck everything, man. Why is everything kind you know, of fucked up? All this goddamn uh, rights. <laughs> Your rights. I mean, um, what, am I, what am I thinking? Distribution rights. I'll tell you what, though. I look for a film... I did it recently. I looked for a film and it's like, it's not on any streaming sites. You can't rent it on YouTube. You can't rent it anywhere. Like you can't rent it on Amazon because it's not in my region. Ugh, fuck you. I'm like, and, and the DVD is like $40 secondhand on eBay. I'm like, okay, really? I can't, I can't do it. I can't watch this. Like I gotta just fucking torrent it. All right. Fuck you. Sometimes I can. Sometimes I can go to YouTube and I'm like, oh, rent it for $5. Uh, a little bit steep for a movie from 1973 or whatever but whatever higher def or standard definition i'm like oh fuck you whatever whatever it's just like renting a movie from the video store i guess it's almost the same price almost they might as well do it like that uh, let me drink some more all right i don't know man i gotta get up early tomorrow I gotta get up early and, uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. It's gonna go suck my dick. I was gonna go, um, practice sucking my dick. I'm not sure, like, people think, like, lie on your back and bring your legs up and then bring your penis forward. But, or do you simply sit down and then bring your head down to lick your foreskin? <laughs> well, I'm gonna try right now. Let me see if I can, I'm not hard right now. But I'll get myself hard. I'll see if I can lick my force. I don't think I'm flexible enough for this shit. Oh, there's no way I'm going to do this. Wait. Oh. Oh. So that's what a penis tastes like. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's not that hard and... You, you just uh, bring up, bring it up. Oh man, I'm getting turned on. I think I'm gay now. Or uh, what do you call it? Auto, auto genophilic, where you want to fuck yourself. I'll tell you what, I want to fuck myself. No one else will. <laughs> I need another drink to get that piss taste out of my mouth. Okay, great. But I still got to practice. I can only lick the tip, the, the, the foreskin if I bring it up. It's really stretchy. But I kind of, <laughs> but I, I still need to learn how to actually suck it. That's a flaw in male biology right there. That's bullshit. 
Anyway, I'm gonna fuck off. I really am. I'm gonna watch a lot of Sopranos right now. I'm nearly finished. Oh, I've got a few more episodes. Don't spoil it. All right. You've been listening to the David Morgan Brown Experience. Uh, uh. Episode 21. This this podcast is now legally able to drink and snort coke in America. In the Americas. And it is the 25th of March. Um, what, what's to be said about March? March is a pretty decent month, usually. I don't think anything terrible happens. <laughs> right? In March? I don't know. I feel like that's when the Iraq war started. I kind of remember, like, March 2003 being like, Ooh, hey. Eh, whatever. I'm going to go masturbate. Because <laughs> I'm 13. <laughs> yeah, right. Fuck it. I'm out. <laughs>